Hi there, this is Tracy from Est 414 Ministries. Thanks for joining me today as I read from Henry and Richard Blackaby's devotional, Experiencing God Day by Day. March 23rd, A Soul Distressed. He began to be troubled and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch. Mark 14, 33-34 Who can know the depth and intensity of the heart of God? No one could measure his sorrow over an unrepentant sinner or his joy over a spiritual rebel who relinquishes everything to him. We can begin to understand what is on the heart of God only when he shares his heart with us. Amos 3.7 Are you aware of the fervent emotions in the soul of your Lord as he carries the weight of the world? The disciples were unaware of the deep anguish in the heart of Jesus, yet he willingly shared his heart with them. The disciples often seemed disoriented to what Jesus was feeling. When he took delight in young children, his disciples attempted to chase them away. Luke 18, 15 through 16. When Jesus had compassion for a woman living in sin, they acted confused, John 4, 27. While Jesus wept at the hopelessness of those facing death, his closest friends grieved as if Jesus had no power to raise the dead, John 11, 1 through 44. You can choose to be alert to the heart of God. As you seek to understand what God is feeling, he may share with you the intensity of his heart. When you are around other people, God may sensitize you to the love he feels for them. When you see others suffering, you may feel the compassion Jesus feels. When sinners return to God in repentance, you may share the Father's joy. You will react to evil the way Jesus reacts. If you will remain alert in prayer, Jesus will share his heart with you. Thanks for listening and have a great day.